Welcome to another episode of the Manly Garage. Doing a quick repair on a 2014 Audi Q7 3.0 TDI alternator. Uh, issue with this one here was that this piece here um, is what connects with your brushes and the brushes themselves had worn out. This upper top section here, you can see a little bit of the residual black was totally and utterly worn out. Uh, the upper brush was no longer contacting, no longer making power. Uh, this is the inside of the old one. They are fully extended at this point. That's as good as they're going to get. You can actually just replace the brushes um, by removing this piece here and desoldering that piece there and swapping the brushes internally and then resoldering them back together. Or you can choose the lazy option. There's a guy on eBay, uh, Anchor Motorworks, uh, Seth Lancaster. Super sharp guy, he provides a complete repair kit. Uh, really cheap, it's like 125 bucks on how to do all of this stuff. It comes with your instructions on how to take care of everything. Um, it is extraordinarily simple. Um, in this case, the bearing that sits directly below this cover here. The 2014 Q7 TDI does actually split. You do not have to cut these wires here like a lot of the videos say. This case half comes off with the um, stator attached. And um, I ended up having to use a puller to remove this bearing, uh, swap that out. It was making some noise. Um, these are some eight millimeter bolts that go around the outside edge here. Put it back together. Um, Additionally, in this kit, he does have the front bearing. Mine was good, as well as the uh, start-stop or the overrun pulley. Um, there is a special tool required for that. Mine is good, so I do not need to repair it. And then it also includes a new brush to repair. Um, but mine owned out good. There's still plenty of copper left on there. The brushes will make great contact once they do extend. Um, so I've got these bolts in. And like I said, they're eight millimeters. He's got all the torque spec stuff listed right here. Um, these alternators, brand new OEM at least, are anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500. So for $125 and a couple hours work, um, it is actually not hard to repair this alternator in any capacity. So I'm going to swap on the new voltage regulator here. I put that guy on. I think I do need to look at some of the instructions here. I think all I have to do is just push down on that cap to release it once I get the bolts installed and they will um, deploy into position. So I got our instructions. So it shows you putting it on there, pushing down. It actually looks like you're supposed to release it somehow. Oh, that's if you want to track them again. Um, when you remove it, you can, you can trap your, uh, what do you call it? These guys here, the brushes. So you can just stick them up behind there. Anyways, um, I've got all my bolts, putting her back together. Should be done in just a few minutes here. This is actually like shockingly easy to do. So anyways, um, everything just kind of clips on, clips off. There's a ton of videos online on how to do it. There's one guy in particular who does a really good job of going through everything. Um, but all said and done, everything tested good. Make sure you got a multimeter in hand. Uh, you got to check ohms. I have a lot of different things in continuity to make sure they're good. But the cool thing is I was able to fix my alternator. I have spare parts and bolts and leads and everything I need to get it fixed up and going all here in the bag. And we're, we're done. I mean, I could not be happier with how everything goes together. The bolts come apart very easily. Removing it from the vehicle is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, if you get the air box out though, it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, getting the air box out was not super fun though. Definitely did not enjoy that, but we got her done. And anyways, oops, these are the wrong bolts. These go around the perimeter here. Anyways, um, that's it. Very, very simple job. Again, if you do end up wanting to replace the pulley or if you do need to replace the pulley on the front, there is a specific um, tool that you do need. It is a, a splined drive. I'll show that to you real quick once I get these guys down. Um, this guy right here, you can see the spline in there. So you actually have to unscrew this pulley from the alternator itself. 
and you hold it in position with a hex key that goes through the middle of the spline, then you turn the spline with your hands and everything's good to go. Part of the background, this is just kind of like a quick down and dirty emergency repair that had to be handled as quickly as possible. So almost done. Putting her back together. I'll let you guys know how it works. If you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask in the comments. If I don't have an answer, I can point you in the direction of a video that does and they all do a very good job. Uh, these perimeter bolts are eight millimeter. These internal bolts are seven millimeter. Um, but what's cool is the 2.0 TDI case halves do actually split without having to cut these wires. I'd say that's probably the biggest reason that I made this video. This is the Vallejo 220 amp alternator. Um, goes together real quick, comes apart real quick. Save yourself a lot of money with like a very minor repair. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Um, happy Thanksgiving that's coming up and uh, have a happy holidays. If you guys have any questions or you got any videos that you'd like to see me make, I'm doing stuff in the shop all the dang time from welding to repair to you name it. Let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will continue to make videos for you guys. Have a great day.